Um, the beans. I, I, I lost the beans. No, I can't find them. <laughs> Maybe I planted them in my sleep or something, but yeah, I can't find them anywhere. I need to find them. They're meme history. But it doesn't matter. We don't need the beans anymore. I mean, they weren't bad. They were just, you know, okay. But honestly, I hated how they fitted. I, I hated how Samsung said they have active noise cancelling when they just frankly don't. But Samsung have released new buds and that are actually and like finally competing with the AirPod Pros. Ugh. I'm not liking this trend of putting pro on everything. Like what? Are you a professional Spotify listener? I thought it was done when Apple did it. Oh no. It's empty. Ooh. Actually, tiny little package. I hate it when companies think that it's just a case. It's not. It's their home. I mean, you know, these are conventionally expensive. You want to put them away. And if you're taking them with you, you hope that the case is something you actually want to take with you. I really like the fitment inside of the case. You can see they're really trying to use as much of this space as possible. Obviously, that hump there is probably full of batteries that charge them. Case is still a little bit cheap. But hey, these will hit the bin as soon as the battery goes cack. So hey, it's good enough for a few years. But straight to the thing that you want to know. Sound, is it any good? Is good. In your buds are limited when it comes to soundstage, the wide 3D listening vibe, because I mean, they're literally playing from inside your head. Example song, Exhibits Multiply, Year 2000's much, I think there's cussing in there, so you know, kids. Which right from the start of the track has this big, chunky, wide riff. It's, I really like it, and there's like doingy noises from behind you and stuff. These still give me a tickle with that track. Uh, and the shape too is really good. I feel this is the shape everyone's been waiting for. No stems, none of that, it's just, a wireless earbud. <laughs> like, really? Not too dissimilar in shape to actual just OG earbuds. So, good case, good look, good sound. But if you thought I wasn't going to complain about these, you are surely mistaken. Uh, 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 ooh. Ooh. Okay, okay, it's not that good. The beans also like to do runners, so, yeah. Yeah, it's a... It, uh, <laughs> Leave the duck alone. Oh, yeah, baby. You know what I mean? That's the magnets, right? Ooh. But touch controls, they work when you can see what you're pressing, say like a phone or modern smartwatch. Boy, I'd hate to have these small sensitive touch controls in a spot where I can never see unless I'm looking into a mirror. You know, like the side of my head. Are we putting the pieces together, ladies and boys? As this channel goes on and I'm trying more and more headphones with all sorts of different control schemes and philosophies, there is one thing that is concrete. Touch controls on headphones is terrible. It's awful and terrible combined. Awfrable. Like even on Sony's full-size flagship headphones, I just absolutely hate it. It's like a Sharpie that you can only hold right at this spot. Touch it anywhere else and you can get ink all over your fingers. But you don't know this until you try it, and then you have to figure it all out without looking at it. That's how it feels, just stumbling blindly in frustration. Let me just pick them up. Oh, I just started playing music or a YouTube video in the background. I'm mowing the lawn, which is jostling my head around. Better make sure those buds are secure. I'm just gonna press like this. Oh dear, I just turned off the noise cancelling. Let me take them out and put them away. Oh, just that interaction there has started the music again. Or worse, activated Siri, who's useless. Yes, you can just get used to it and learn where you can touch them. You know, same way you can get used to a baby crying or like an awful co-worker. Hey, this is Jeff. He's like this awful person who spits at people he hates and won't do any work and steals lunches. But it's cool, mate. You'll get used to him. No life from this point onwards. Any headphones that put touch controls on the sides of my greasy face get immediate points off. Spoilers, guys. I do have the drop pandas, which almost sounds like drop bears. And you can call them panda bears. So these are now called the drop bears. But it's controlled with this little D-pad here with these lovely little micro switches in there. It works perfectly. AirPods have the dingus stems, but that's where the controls are. That flat little spot is a very obvious, like that's where you press it. The area that you actually handle to fit them in your head, that doesn't do anything. So you can adjust these, you can make sure they're in there because you know, we'd hate to lose one of these. And the only reason why this works is because it's literally simulating a button. You have to squeeze it and it goes click. Which part of this is the touch panel? I don't know, somewhere in the middle. Also, Samsung, you, you suck with instruction booklets. Go! <laughs> Does have a quick diagram saying put them in your head, but inside are these miserable booklets that they include. Quick start guide, never mind, it's like a phone book for mice. And it's like it's come straight from the engineering department and just delivered in the most blah 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 blah. Blah, 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 blah. And they wonder why people don't want to read these and learn how to fit them properly. And look, we're already up to next language. Uh, and then, there you go. 
That's that's all that they really want you to know. Warranty card. Why warranty book series and like movies coming out soon or something? It'd be like The Hobbit. They'll get three movies out of one book somehow. I just don't want to read something like this. I mean, I did to learn how to fit them properly and uh, what do the friggin' touch controls do? Look what the AirPods give you. There you go. It's all laid out. It's everything you need to know and it even includes different languages like it's not hard. If you're gonna try and copy the bootleg box design, like, at least copy this too. This is what actually matters. Oh, and the cable that Samsung gives you is borderline bootleg nasty. Look how it holds its shape. <laughs> it's like a quarter-way cooked ramen noodle. You know, the, the pre-packaged variety. Like, it's just yuck. It's, it's, dis it's disgusting. We are being rudely interrupted because a challenger has appeared. Look out, everyone. Da, 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 da. It's the darlings, mate. It's the Sony WF-1000XM3's catchy name, Sony. It's almost like you've never marketed a thing before. Apart from being uncatchy and annoying, it's actually like really confusing because the WH-1000XM3 is a previous model of the WH-1000XM4s, but the XM3s of the WF variety are the current of the earbud ones. Sony! But besides its horrible and confusing name, these are the current AirPods Pro's alternative. But now that we got the gang all here, mate, let the battle royale begin. Huge case! Huge! If I put these like that... Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. It is humongous. Look how thick. <laughs> this is a nice small package, but honestly, the AirPods Pro still win because it's thickness that counts. That's how it fits in your pocket. This isn't bad at all, but this is still better. That's why smartphones could be huge. As long as they're thin, they disappear in a pocket. Oh, look, it's King Chonk. Look out, battling out with Godzilla. I got moisturizer on my hands because SA is super dry, and it's making this look horrible because it's got this. This cheap, disgusting rubber coating on it. Look at the mold lines here from the manufacturing process. So cheap. That's obviously why they've dipped it in Plasti Dip or something. It's to hide how manky it is underneath there. It's a total chunkster, right? Trying to get that into a pocket. AirPods are like polished plastic. So also being the thinnest, it just doop, into a pocket gone. This just grips its way down. Here I come. Dum -dum 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 -dum. See these scratches on this side? That's one adventure rubbing up against my keys in my bag. These have been sharing the pocket with my car keys since 2019. Yeah, they got scuffs and scratches, but <laughs> it's held up amazingly. One day. The buds on the inside are bigger, but I gotta say, they actually look pretty dang cool. In terms of how far they stick into your ears to do the job that they do, uh, these are basically full-blown earplugs with foam tips. These are like conventional in-ears, and these, I mean, you can actually just see from the shape of them, sit not as far in. It's, I really kind of dig how these fit. But now that we got them all together, mate, we can talk sound in more detail. The benchmark around here, mate, it's the Herder 600s by San. A benchmark for audiophile sound. There are better than this, of course. I mean, these have been out since 1997. But a set of these with a nice amp, you're listening real nice. Here's what the sound to them looks like. So way down at the bottom, we've got the super low sub bass, then regular bass. Here's the mids. That's basically where all the rest of the band is. So like the singers, the guitarists, the saxophonists, and up the top you got cymbals and t -t 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 noises, and then it's basically noise from there. Now let me show you the graphs for the buds. There are small differences. The buds have more super low bass. The Sony's have a mid bass bump, which makes them sound thumpier. That's where like the top of bass drums are. So it's and the AirPods have a little more mids, which brings the vocals forward a bit. They seem a little bit louder. And uh, honestly, they're all different flavors of great. I mean, if you listen to these a day apart, you would struggle to tell them apart. And I really mean that. It's like different brands of salt and vinegar chips. Some have more salt, some have more vinegar, but they're all good though. And I'm sure many out there go, no, well, I've tried them one after another and I can tell, obviously. But who's sitting at home just AB swapping headphones all day? Oh, me. I mean, look at the graph for some Grados, mate. Now there's a different flavor. Ooh but they're more like Red Rock Daily Honey Soy Chicken flavored. But these are portable companions. And really, their value lies in the package they offer, not just the outright sound. Cause mate, they have microphones for calls, so I walk through traffic and I got some samples for you. So like, I've started up this new business and it's like pretty hip because like what I do is I sell stolen milk crates to people waiting at the traffic lights. Uh, a lot of people aren't looking for a milk crate at the traffic lights, but then they see I've got a fine selection, like a Farmer's Union one, like a pure milk one. 
and you know, I haven't sold any yet. So, like, business is slow, and like, I don't think it's because people don't want to stall and we'll create stalls and the traffic lights. But, like, I think it's because they're not advertising enough. So, I've hired this huge billboard, and it costs like thousands of dollars. And just says like, meet me at Jeff's Cross, and I'll sell you a stolen milk crate. So like, I got my first sale, and I'm like super stoked. It's like, wow, can't believe someone wants a stolen milk crate. They they specifically asked for a pure milk one. And then I'm like, turns out it was the cops, and like, you know, they didn't even disguise themselves. It was just a police car sitting there in the empty car park. Yet I pulled in anyway. So maybe they needed one. And uh, I'm in Jama. Wow, the, the Sony's just kind of quit there at the end, huh? And now honestly. The AirPods weren't great at all. Samsung, nice work. Although the turntables, when the ambient mode's being used, that's when the microphones are simulating, you know, not wearing them so you can hear around you sort of thing. And the Samsungs weren't that hot. Like it actually hurt to talk with them. It was like my own voice was distorting the microphone. And the Sonys were just okay too. Honestly, AirPods, it's actually pretty amazing. I could happily keep them in and talk to people and leave ambient mode on. All of them have noise cancelling and all of them do a great job at knocking an aircon out of a room. The Samsung tend to let high-end frequencies through like fans and road noise but nothing crazy but there is something I like to use these kinds of buds for and honestly it's just as electronic earplugs not even for playing musical content I live in a busy built-up area I mean you saw that traffic there that was just me walking home and sometimes I just want to walk and think my AirPod Pros have done an amazing job for these you know ever since 2019 the buds did a great job too and like some in-ear style headphones can amplify the sound of walking because you know our legs are attached to our head but these were fine sadly the Sony's were awful. With the noise cancelling on, the wind noise is insane. It's almost unusable to be honest. Like, because the noise cancelling works using phasing with the microphones, and the wind blowing across that microphone is just. If you turn off the noise cancelling, the noise goes away, but then all the traffic comes in. So for Sony to boast that it's the best noise cancelling budge out there is not really true. And also, touch controls on the side of my face. You betcha I hated it. But finally, price. And for me, this is where stuff starts to make more sense and flaws can be totally forgiven. These prices off their official websites, you know, so obviously you can find specials on these, uh, but this is what the company wants to say they're worth. And uh, this is all in dollar reduce, right? Dollar reduce. It's got a kangaroo on it. AirPods, three hundred and ninety-nine dollar reduce. The Buds, three hundred and forty-nine dollar reduce. And the Sony's, two hundred and seventy-eight. That's a lot cheaper. So yeah, it's got the cheapest, nastiest case, the largest buds with lame touch controls and wind noise through the noise cancelling. But they are the cheapest. And if sound is all that matters, they easily hang with the rest of them. So like buses, trains, planes. And like offices, they don't have wind noise issues, so these will still work in those scenarios if you know what your daily grind is. I still think the AirPods are the one to be. It's the smallest package, by far the best controls. I don't care. I, considering I've tried all these different types of buds, and I come running back for the stems, mate. I don't care how they look. It just works. It's got the least intrusive fit and the best noise cancelling, in my opinion, because of its amazing ambient feature. Even though the recording mic totally sucks, and this case is built like a tank like again i've had this since 2019 way back when i was working full-time as a musician still i was using these as earplugs at gigs it's been dropped a million times and i even lost them at a wedding for a whole month and only just got them back congrats daniel and bethany sorry for dropping your husband but i didn't sell or lose the ring look at this metal hinge like to this day it's just a total tank but the actual center of this review and that case has been upside down this whole time it's a little bit cheaper and the case kind of shows it but they look great tiny size great sound excellent little package and any smartwatch can skip around the terrible touch controls i mean seriously consider it like a discreet actual button somewhere because that's all the stems are is a virtual button i mean it's just simple gestures anyway it's literally one tap double tap and triple tap Th those are the gestures just make it a button but the question are these a suitable alternative to airpod pros Absolutely. I would 100% have these over these. Gladly pay the extra money. You know, it's my job to nitpick. And yes, once you learn how to hold the dingus things, I was able to use them just like my AirPods with no issues at all. You know, the Sony's couldn't do that because of the wind noise. <laughs> and at one point, I forgot I had the buds in because there was no stem to squeeze, so I just squeezed my earlobe and step and went, ooh -hoo. It even had the best mic to boot. So, actual, well done, Samsung. Yeah. 
I would totally live with these. If they're packing these with Galaxy phones, like that's a hecker of a deal. Like, cause yeah, excellent earbuds and I really dig them. But that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Huge thanks to my patrons, especially these stinky names right here. Cause one dollar a month, I direct to videos and something that the, my patrons have been asking for, mate, we're gonna sit down and have an interview with Frank. I'm gonna try and see how long she will sit on a couch for. Just to see if we can talk about her a bit. She's very wiggly, but hey, thanks again, mate. I'll see you all next time. Well, isn't it a turtle, Frank, paying us a visit? Look at your pretty shell, made in Italy. Frank, you're so pretty.